All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. This is a Christian Prince, and today I am Indian from India. In brother and sister, Prophet Muhammad, he came specifically to save us in India, and I'm going to prove it for you. Zakir Naik, he introduced his prophet as his prophet came to save India. Save India from what? Maybe you want to save India from the Indian? <laughs> So, you know, uh, uh, Muhammad is a prophet for all mankind. How true is that? And what Muhammad can do to India? Hmm. Okay. He will add some new diet to their food, like drinking camel urine, which is not livable. What exactly Muhammad he can do to India to save India? I mean, what, what Muhammad he came with which will make India a better place. I'm going to open my Skype and open it challenge for anyone who is a Muslim to prove me wrong. What is a species, what, what Muhammad can provide to India? When you say that Muhammad is a prophet for all mankind, well, India is one of mankind, countries and nation, people we love. I, I respect them a lot. I love them really. And what Muhammad he can do to India? A country which is full of culture, full of beautiful things, and there is for sure bad things too, but this is the case in every nation. We have somebody uh, trying to call, let us see. No, this is not a Muslim. Okay, let us see here. My Skype is open. If you are a Muslim, would like to call us and tell us. Um, Okay. Yeah, people, they send me long text. Uh, it's hard for me to read all those texts, my friend. So who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us why Muhammad he can... Anyone? Anyone? Okay, we will leave our Skype open for any caller who is a Muslim. Text me please first, and I will call you back just to be sure that you want to talk, not to text only. Don't text me just to speak, whatever I mean. If you have interest in the topic as, and you are a Muslim, it is time for you to do your job and provide us with the wisdom of Islam. Um, <clears throat> Let us see here. Okay. No, this is not, not a Muslim. And this is not a Muslim. All right. Well, look like we are short of Muslims for now. We hope they will come. So, you know, when somebody he says to us, Muhammad is a prophet, first of all, how we can even categorize him as a prophet? What is the prophecy Muhammad he did? What is the prophecy he brought to India? It, it, there isn't a prophecy about India as an example. Because if you are a prophet, but you have no prophecy, not for the Arab, not for the Indian, not for the American, not for the Asian, not for what, what, what Muhammad he brought for us. Anyone? Uh, we have a person is not a Muslim. Why are you are calling me, my friend? We want a Muslim to call. No, no. Please don't call me if you are not a Muslim. I want a Muslim to call for now. Please. Call me only. Oh, boy. I have to block this person. Hello? 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 CP? Yes. Yeah, hello, how are you doing? I'm fine. Hello? Yeah, is it CP? Yes, it is. How I can help you? Yes, I'm just seeing what you are, you know, about 
What? The challenge that you prepared saying that Prophet Muhammad, if he's a prophet or not. Okay. This is what I wanted to talk about. All right. What what uh, what do you want to say to us? Are you yeah. a, are you a Muslim yourself? Yeah, I can say. Okay. In, so what what do you like to say? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So why you don't believe that he is a prophet? Well, help me. I don't believe because I believe he's lying. So give me give me a proof that he is not a liar. Which which lie? Everything. You know, sometimes when you say somebody, you know, when you say somebody is a liar, okay. at least you should provide evidence that right. he's lying about okay. something. Okay. The Quran. You can just say that somebody okay. is lying and then. All right. Muhammad in the Quran says that Allah in the heaven He will give us women with big big boobs. Is that true? Yeah. Then it's. How, how will you prove that he's strong? If you don't know about it, no, because it's not. It's not, it's not. It's not about how about you, you see. Here we go. So, you, so you answer me saying how you can prove it's wrong. It's obviously it's wrong because there's no God will provide us women with big boobs. This is stupid. You know, God is not a pimp. Why he he, he opened a pimp house? Why God he seduced what? me? What kind of God he seduced me? Saying what? if you if you believe in me, I will be give you women with big boobs. Why why not? What do you mean? Why not? Okay, I, I, okay. Now I am a prophet. I am going to promise you. I will give you a woman have a three nipples. Are you okay with that? Here we go. Yes. I, I did beat Muhammad. Now I am a prophet. Then so you are following a man. He's trying to tempt you. Satan. He tempt you by big boobs. Not not God. What God? God. He promised you a heaven with boobs and a, a long private part. What kind of a prophet he promised you in this private part? So your wife, she is sleeping next to you in the bed, and your and you and your private part is in Mars. What you would do with that? How, how, how do you how, how, how do you say endless part? Where, where is written endless? He's, he, your prophet, he says, can where, where sahu, like an endless palm tree. Can No, I I I can't read. Arabic. You need to show me. It doesn't matter. Well, it's in Arabic. You, know, you can ask any. You can ask any Muslim who speak Arabic. What kind of a prophet he he, he say so, that if a woman she have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. If a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. This is a stupid. This is not scientific. It's not scientific. Yeah, it's stupid the, the, because because Why women be women sincere? orgasm yeah. women orgasm yeah. have nothing to do that's... women orgasm have nothing to do with the baby yeah. look who have orgasm first my friend have nothing to do so, with the baby look so when your prophet he says such a thing he's making a prophecy claiming that he knew medicine and he knew biology he knew uh, the, the the unseen and he claiming they have knowledge no, nobody no, have. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't jump, don't jump, don't go there. Mm. Let's come first, you know, where you said about these, you know, women in Jannah. Then we talk about this first. Okay, no problem. What so do how, how do you know that, how, how do you know that this is not true? A very simple logic, because if God is God, and he want to reward me for, 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 uh, for uh, being a decent, he will give me a decent reward. This is not a decent reward. This is a, 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 a reward of somebody is horribly uh, 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 have a very bad ethic trying to what if I come to your house, I knock at your door and say, hey, I have big boobs waiting for you in the truck. If you join us, is that an ethical? So, so but, but why, why human be needed? Why? Because it's not ethical. It's not ethical. You see, God is about ethic, teaching you how to be good, to be nice. And this is disrespect your mother and you, my mother. Women are not sex toys. They are not made for boobs. This is not the purpose of creating women. No, I, I don't so, so what you are saying to me no, that, I, I, I that don't believe they are. but as you see, your God, he summarized the existence of women with their boobs. You see, he is not saying to you, I will promise you a decent woman. No. She love you. Do you see the word love? No. Do you see that you will have a romantic relationship? No. All what he is talking about are big boobs. So you don't like. It. What do you mean I don't like? I'm asking you. So you don't, you don't like. What kind of God he promised me? What, what, Sorry? what about you know God? He created Adam and Eve. Okay, okay. Now, 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 now. Mm. Wait. Mm. Now, now, now. So in Christianity, because you claim to be a Christian, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Is is it true? 
Yeah, I'm Christian. True? Yeah, I'm Direct Christian. Christian. Yeah. I'm a Christian. Yeah. Okay. So, so what what is your what your God is promising you for how to call it? In Jesus the, said in the heaven, he and she, he Jesus, he said, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. So, in the heaven of God, we will be holy as angels. And we will be free from our needs. So Jesus, he free us from the slavery of sex and food and uh, all kind of needs in Islam. From, from which, in, in Islam, from, from hold on, you ask me. From which? You ask me, let me answer you. In Christianity, Jesus is freeing you from all kind of needs, including sexuality, because now you will be the same as angels, which means you do not need, because sex is a need. Food is a need. To stay warm is a need. To sleep is a need. So jesus he free you from the needs you are free you, you are living like a king you are living like uh, uh, as if you are almost god because you are free from all needs you do not need anything but you are happy and this is a real happiness you will be holy and this is really a, a, yeah, a blessing but, yeah, 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 yeah. but you yeah, but, but you in heaven yeah, you are but, saying that i will be happy but you in heaven but, it, isn't it, isn't it, to be but, happy? But, but you see but but having a woman with big boobs that will not make you happy and i will tell you why because that will make her look like a cow because your God he is a promise you in extreme size as an example your prophet he said that your wife butt will be one mile oh, no, no, I, don't, I, 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 don't, I don't believe in this I don't believe in this what kind what do you mean you don't believe in are you saying are you saying your prophet is a liar are you no. saying are you saying your prophet are you saying your prophet is a liar when he said that your no, wife you in heaven her, her, her ass is one mile you did this huh you did this for me any evidence, so I, I cannot say it's okay. Uh, okay, I, I will show you evidence. Here we go. No, I, no, 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 no. I say well, okay. Well, here we go. I always produce evidence. Okay, well, let me give you the hadith. Hold on. What uh, evidence? I never say something without evidence. You, you mean it from the Quran? From the Quran? Huh? From from the Quran? It's, from the Quran. So you believe only in the Quran now? What yes. So you are saying that your prophet's statement are not to be considered he's a liar? No, you know, as it is, because we have a lot of hadiths who say saying this and this, so we don't know which one even is true. Because every anybody can so, make his own. So why you Muslims say, why you why, why this, okay this so this. so why you Muslims follow the hadith if the hadith is a bunch of garbage? Suddenly now the hadith is bad. Suddenly I want only Quran. Okay, I will do the same to you. Can you show me from the Quran? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you show me from the Quran one thing Muhammad he said in the Quran? It makes sense. Like I heard that you must yes. say the Quran is a book of science, full of science. Can you show me something like that? No, I'm not, I didn't study about science, but I can show you something that is good okay here because we can, you cannot say that everything that is inside there is wrong. Sometimes, as, as you know, I, I was listening to you since long time now. Okay. I think almost to three years since right. I started to listening to you. Okay. But there is some certain things we can see because I follow different people and I was studying this. So some that you can see that he has like there is some things that is similar to the to the how to call it to the Bible because where it says like pray prayer is good, isn't it? Fasting is good. I don't, I don't, giving pray, helping other people is good. Pray it? pray to who? Pray to who? Sorry? Pray to who? And uh, giving giving charity by what? By stealing the money of those who have it and giving it to the Muslims. What is this is not charity. You're a prophet. No, no, no. You're a prophet. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did your prophet say attack the Christians and the Jews and force them to pay you jizya so they can survive and live? Did he force us to pay money yeah. or we die? What? Did your prophet say the Christians should be either killed or pay? Either killed or pay? No, I, I, ne I never, I never saw, hear that. Okay, chapter, so chapter, like chapter 9, verse number 29. Read the verse for me. Pay or die. Fight and kill. Fight here, qatilu. Qatilu means fight to kill. So Qatilu fight to kill those who believe not in Allah in the, on the last day from who? From the Christians and the Jews. Until what? Until they pay jizya with willing and submission and feel themselves subdued. So if you are a Christian, you want to live, Muslims will not kill you if you pay them. The day you stop paying them, they will kill you. Mm. Mm. 
by those who believe not in the where is it? Okay. Fight those who believe not in Allah nor the last day. Mm-hmm. No hold that forbidden which have been forbidden by Allah and his mm-hmm. messenger. In acknowledging the religion of truth. Even they are of the people of the book uh, mm-hmm. until they pay it easier with feeling submission. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So what you do now? What kind of a prophet? The, your prophet looked like Mahamata Gandhi here. He's so peaceful, man. He's saying, if you don't pay me, I will kill you. Sound very nice. Okay, okay. Let, let's leave this one. We, we, let leave this one. Oh, leave this one? Okay, guys, leave this one. This one is ugly. Do you, okay. do you want to say... What else you want to give me? We will leave this one. Guys, this one is ugly. Leave, it, leave this one. Okay, what else? So do you, do you want to say that um, paying zakat is not good? What paying zakat? You steal our money and you pay zakat. This is our money. So now I go, I put a gun in your head no, no, and I take no, your I money. This, people are not stealing. Nobody is stealing your money as it is. Now we are working hard to earn money. Then we. we no, 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 no. I'm talking about your profit. I'm not, not talking about you. Don't, 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 don't make it about you. I'm not talking about you. Who are you? You are no one. I'm talking about the Quran. You said to me, Quran, this is the order of your God. If you are true, almost, if you are a true Muslim, you should do invasion to the Christian, kill them or they pay. This is the Quran. I'm not talking about you. Who are you? you I don't know who you are. This, you are not a prophet. You are not God. You are not, and you are no one. So this is what your prophet saying. Do you agree with him or not? So can you prove me? Give it to me. Anything that can prove that Islam is false. Yeah, like what you want? What do you want? From which field? <clears throat> no, no, no. Any, anything, anything. Bring anything. Here we go. This, the, the one in front of you okay. is to prove so, Islam so is false. So you see, I, I think. Uh, I'm, I didn't study this very, very hard. Okay, so let me ask you. Let me ask I, you. I you see the, you, see, you see the, you see the, you see the verse no, before wait, wait. it. You see I, the verse before. Okay, let me. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then I call you. If somebody says to you that you are not a clean, you are dirty, just because you are not from his religion, is that right? Sorry. If somebody says to you, like once a Muslim, Hello? once a Muslim, he says to me. That I am not married to a Christian woman because a Christian woman yes. they have the 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 Christian women they have AIDS and they are dirty. So, and I said, well, Muslim women they have more AIDS because they have multiple partners. You know, this is why the AIDS is spread between Muslims way more. So I'm asking you now, is it right to say that there is a group of people they are dirty just because they are Muslim? You know, anyone, I, I think, anyone is I not a Muslim. Listen carefully. No, let me finish my topic and you answer. Let me finish my. So my you, did you let, did, let, did you let, ask let me, me to give you a proof? Me. Did you ask me to give you a proof so, or not? So why you are talking? Let me finish. What kind of a Quran says that those who they are not Muslims yes. are filthy and clean? They are nudges. What kind of a book says that? Do you believe that a Hindu person is nudges? Is filthy? Just because he's not Muslim like you? Yes, no, as I, as I tell you, what we do, hmm. I call my, my sheikh, then I, I call you, and you, you chat together. Ah, okay. It's okay for you? Sure, sure. Tell, tell your sheikh hello. Tell him Christian huh? friends say hello. Yeah, sure, sure. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm calling from the Gambia now. Uh, from Africa, Gambia. West Africa, Gambia. Oh, okay, from Gambia. Welcome, my friend. I like African people, yeah. But you see, you, yes. you, your Islam is a stupid cult, my friend. There is no God he promised those promises. Women with big boobs, it's a shame. Your mother is not a big boob. Your, mo your mother is a mother. She is a woman. She is respected. She is a human. So your God, he summarized women as a sex toys. He made them nothing but a private part and boobs. So call your sheikh and let him... Why you don't ask your sheikh to call me and debate me? Mm -hmm. Hello. Why you don't ask your sheikh to dare to call me? Hello. Is he afraid your sheikh? Is he afraid to call me? Uh, actually, uh, no, actually, he's not here. 
Actually, he, he just went out. I was thinking that I can find him so that you can talk together. Oh, okay. Well, next time maybe you can let him call me when I am live. That would be nice, huh? Yeah, usually we call you, but you didn't pick the phone. No, this is the problem. my phone, my, my Skype is not always on. I Skype go on Hello? air. When I say I am on air, my Skype is on your call. Don't call Hello? if I am not saying I am on air. Don't call unless I say my Skype is open. Please feel free to call me. So if you keep calling, I am not online in Skype 24 hours. He hang up. Yeah, you, you want to call me? I'm not there. That's not even smart. <clears throat> All right. Any smart Muhammadan? So Muhammad is a prophet, but what is his prophecy? We do not know. The prophecies of Muhammad, all of them proven to be false, stupid, and, and uh, based on ignorance. A God who promised me women will be boobs. Why? Women is a cow. I mean, you could not find anything in the women to describe as something beautiful except her boobs. What is this? A prophet, he promised me that I would go to heaven and I would have a private part which will never go soft. What is that? A Viagra, Viagra promise? I swear by Allah, there is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him to 72 wives, two from the Huris and 70 from the Duris, from his inheritance from people of hell, all of whom have desirable front passages. Desirable front passages? What is that, brother? There's a Muslim, he tried to refute me, he says, it doesn't say that CP, it doesn't say boobs. The Quran say boobs, you idiot. Desirable front passages, boobs and vagina. What is in the front? You tell me. Do you have any idea what is in the front of the women? Maybe your prophet is talking about Harry Billy Baum. Billy Baum, Billy Baum, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you, Billy Bum, Billy Bum? The prophet of Billy Bums. And then he promised you he will have a male member that never to be forgot and always to be remembered because it's always boing, boing. This is a prophet of God. If this is a statement of a prophet of God, a pimp in Las Vegas, he what his business to? I mean, he, Muhammad, he left nothing to promote pimp, a pimp business to, to, to others. He is the best pimp promoter ever. Go to our saloon. We have a Viagra for you. Your private part will say hello to everybody, even from Yahoo. This is a prophet? Imagine I am standing now in front of a crowd, say, the brothers and sisters. If you believe in me as a prophet, I will make your private part like <laughs> Prophet, I have a question. And what I would do with that private part then? I'm going to give you the benefit of such a private bar. For it, you can break with it or not. And even you can dig in the concrete. And even you can look for oil. And regarding the thigh, the prophet said it's going to be in the palm tree. Which means you can use it for cable. To connect the internet between two galaxies. Galaxy number 7 and galaxy 8. Not galaxy Samsung. This is a prophet of God. If this is a prophet of God, what is an idiot we call him? If there is somebody in Egypt, what we'll call him? They say that Daif, everything in Islam Daif. <laughs> Muhammad is Daif. His statement is Daif. Quran is Daif. 
<laughs> oh boy. I mean, I'm really convinced that Muhammad is a prophet. How you can deny that, man? You cannot deny that. Huh? Man, oh man. <sighs> a lot of wisdom in this book. It's called Quran. Hmm? <clears throat> you know, uh, Muhammad, he was uh, pretty much like the Mahmata Gandhi for the Indian brother. I will give you the similarity between them. So you might understand a better situation. Give me a second, please. It's amazing, Prophet Muhammad. Very amazing. He's the best between all mankind, brother. Okay. Actually, Mahmata Gandhi, he was very Mahmata compared to Muhammad. He cannot be compared to Muhammad. First of all, Muhammad was very peaceful, not like Mahmata Gandhi. You know? Secondly, Muhammad is full of wisdom. I mean, the Prophet, he goes anywhere, wisdom, I mean, it, wisdom is a dripping man. He drip wisdom. Like the Prophet is talking wisdom. The Prophet not talk wisdom. The Prophet fought wisdom. Wisdom everywhere. Wisdom. Hmm. This guy, when I call again, why you are calling me again? Just get your shake. Don't call me until you get your shake. So Muhammad, the wise man, he come to us with a lot of wisdom. As an example, not limited. Like what? Like what? Like what? Like what? Like what? Ah, Prophet Muhammad, he said, eat in your, it's, it's allowed for you to eat in your mother house. It's not the problem. It's not sin if you eat in your father house. And if you are sick, it's not the problem if you eat in your house. I mean, this is wisdom of God. How Muhammad he come with this? No, he, he hang up and he said to me he will call me when he have his uh, sheikh only, you know. Any Muslim, especially from India. Any Muslim from India would like to tell us why Muhammad is a prophet for India. I want to know. I will tell you something why is the prophet he said. As an example, Muhammad is anti-garlic. Hmm. That's very Indian. Anti-curry, anti-garlic, anti... -curry, anti that's it. The one who eat garlic, he don't enter our mosque. That's very Indian. Uh, Jesus, a prophet. Oh, hold on, hold on, guys. This guy is a Muslim. Look, what, look at his name, supposedly. He's making a statement by his name. I like this name, actually. D don't change it, by the way, so we can laugh. Look at this. Jesus P. B. UH, this kind of like of a chemical, not died in the cross. Okay, hold on. You just prove to us that you Muslims are a bunch of crazy people believing in stupidity. 
Because if Jesus did not die in the cross, but the Quran says someone looked like Jesus died in the cross. Okay, prove that this is someone looked like Jesus. And let us see how this is work. Let us laugh at the Quran and the statement of the Quran that Allah, he plays someone look like Jesus. So brother, Allah, he made someone look like Mahmata Gandhi. And the English brother, they arrested him. But it was not Mahmata Gandhi, the real one. It was someone look like him. So the English, they took Mahmata Gandhi to the court. And they told him, are you Mahmata Gandhi? He said, yes, it is me. And he have his voice. He looked like him, exactly like him. But it's not him, brother. It was Allah Mahmata Gandhi, because Allah made two Mahmata Gandhi, one in jail and one in the nightclub. So the Abdul is coming with an idea that Allah, he made two Christ. One is taking limousine to heaven, wee 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 wee, and one is captured by the Jews. He looked exactly like Jesus. Even his mother, she could not recognize him, brother. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid prophet more than this? Okay, I have a news for you. Muhammad is not Muhammad, brother, because Allah he made to Muhammad. Fake Muhammad, a real Muhammad. So if we take this story, that means Allah should make from every prophet too. This is real Musa and fake Musa. Real Abraham and fake Abraham. Ibradar, when the prophet Muhammad said that the Jews, not the Jews, the Jews, that they tried to, uh, the, 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 the pagan, they tried to burn the prophet Abraham. They were burning the true Abraham or the fake Abraham, brother? How come Allah did not make a fake Abraham to save the real Abraham? What a stupid cult. So look what you just said here in this verse. This verse confirming that the Bible is saying the truth. Why? Because the verse saying that the Jews, they say we killed Jesus, so they are sure. Allah is saying, no, you are not sure. I made it someone look like him, brother. But there's no proof of such a statement. It's funny, actually. The one who killed, he said, I did. The one who was not there, Muhammad, 600 years after, he says, it wasn't him. Okay, do you have witnesses? No. That's mean we are truthful and Allah is a Dajjal. Because if this is what appeared to us, people, they witness what they see. That is a truthful witnessing. Correct, guys? A truthful witness is the one who say what he saw, not someone he say something he did not saw or see. So the stupid Allah in the Quran confirm that the Christian when they write in their they have the writing in their in their in their Bible that Jesus was crucified, they are not lying because this is what they saw. It says there it was made to appear to them. So we are truthful. So even the Quran witnessing that we are a truthful Christian, we did not corrupt anything and we did not change anything. We did not fabricate a story of a crucifixion. The fabricator is Allah according to the story because he is the one who made Jesus look in the cross. So you are following a fabricator God. And this is how we spank your God. If you ask your God now right now to take off his panty, you will see five of my fingers there. Actually, I have six fingers to be honest with you. I just added one just in case of Corona. Jesus prophet Jesus did not die in the cross. Even the Quran says that he died in the cross because this is saying that the Christian, they saw Jesus in the cross. That's what the first saying. Oh, this guy, he, the one who called me, he is not a Muslim. Actually, the one who spoke to me is a Muslim, but the one who called me in his Skype, he is getting a Muslim to talk to me. Ah, okay. He have a Muslim with him in the place they are working in, 
and he's he's the one who's talking. <clears throat> and by the way, Prophet Muhammad, he is the one who can stop various corona. He said, if you have uh, like food in your hand, uh, let some, uh, lick it or let someone else lick it for you. Yesterday I was in Home Depot, brother, and I was eating a sandwich and I have some ketchup in my hand. So I put my hand in front of me in the counter and he said, who would have lick my fingers? And brother, American, they were fighting over my fingers. Everybody want to lick them. Lick, somebody lick it for you. Somebody lick what for you, you idiot? The funny one of the Muslims, he made a video saying, it doesn't say that, CP. It says the one who said that it was the guy, he said, or oh, let someone lick it for you. Are you stupid or what? This is the hadith of your prophet, and this is why it is highlighted in the black, you liar. Do you see the, do you see the sign quotation? Do you see the quotation? Do you see the, the quotation, Abdul? I mean, they try differently in the between two brackets, such as your wife or husband, etc. Potato. Potato, 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 potato. I like to touch the skin. I like to dip it in. And by the way, Prophet Muhammad, he always teach us how to secure ourselves from Corona. As an example, brother, additional to licking the, 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 the fingers of somebody else, uh, if a fly full of Corona fill in your soup, brother, just dip it, dip it, dip it, dip it, dip it, and drink it. Hmm. According to the scientists from NASA FASA, France, 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 they said this is true. If a fly fails into your vessel of one of you, let him dip it. Why? Uh, we will find you the answer in a second, please. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. This is the answer, brother. Narrated Abu Huraira, uh, Allah Messenger said, when a fly falls in the drink of one of you, he should fully dip it in, dip it in, dip it in. He should fully dip it in, dip it in, dip it in. He should fully dip it in, dip it in, dip it in. La, 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 la. Prophet, why? And then, and then, throw it away. Because there is a disease in one of the wings and the wings and cure in the other. La 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 la. The end of the wisdom of a prophet Muhammad. Brother, should I dip it now? Yes, brother. The prophet ordered us to do so, brother. It's not a choice. So if a fly in the time of Corona, brother, fell down in your soup, dip it, dip it, dip it, because there is we found the cure for Corona, all what we need. Take one of the wings of the fly and make a soup of it. <laughs> Today my lunch is going to be wings fly wings but the problem here in the usa we don't have flies where like, last time i saw a fly when i was a flying i mean where we will see the fly here this is too much wisdom brother hmm and this is a prophecy by the way how muhammad he knew this how he knew this? He knew even what is in the wings of the fly. And then, 
the Muslim, they made articles that scientists, they discover that there is antibacteria over the, <laughs> the winger, which is absolutely stupid to say. My friend, the disease in the fly is not in the wings. Actually, the wings is the most clean part of the fly. This is why you can even see through. For they move it, move it thousands of times a minute. The wings is the most clean part of the fly. The dirt, the, the danger of the fly is the hair in her legs. When she stands in anything, she grab in her hair, whatever there. It's not the wings, you idiot. And the reason Muhammad, he did this, people, they were looking at him, drinking from his soup and the fly, like swimming there, like in a submarine. And he looked at them, ah, oh, okay. Ah, the reason uh, I eat and drink it, no problem, because if, let me, you know, uh, uh, because there is one uh, cure and one barbour. What is that, man? Touches a lot of wisdom. By the way, uh, you uh, you missed uh, my uh, uh, my broadcast in the quality of life. Most of you are not subscribed there, so don't forget to subscribe to my other account, Quality of Life, in case you like to join us. Actually, I'm, maybe today I will go live on air again there. You, you know, there we we take a break from the stupidity of uh, Muhammad and you know this madness garbage. And the wisdom, too much wisdom, man. I mean, I, I can't handle it, to be honest with you. This is too much stress. A lot of wisdom, a lot of flies and boogers. Even the Prophet, he have hadith about boogers. Boogers, brother. Farting. He have thousands of hadith about farting. If I type the word fart, hold on, let me show you something. I will teach you a trick, Islamic trick, brother. I will type in front of you, not in Arabic, in English, the word fart. La 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 Allah Apostle said the prayer of a person who does hadath which mean fart hadath mean fart pass urine stole or stole he passed a stole during the prayer so your your ass is up and poopo -poo is coming out okay is not accepted <laughs> Allah Apostle. I mean, look how many times he's talking. He, this guy, he have a degree in farting. There's a Muslim guy in the uh, Saudi Arabia University. He made a master degree about the sounds of the stomach which disturb or uh, defile the prayer. Master degree about farting. I, I don't know, PhD? I forgot. Master or PhD about farting. For sure, Islam is all about farting. Look at this. Look at this. All those hadith about farting. And not only that, my friend. Even say shaitan he fought when he hear the prayer of Allah. So Muslim, they fought when they pray for Allah and shaitan he fought too. Which makes sense. Actually, this is the only hadith makes sense. Actually, I feel right now I'm going to do something, but I have to mute the microphone first. <clears throat> the Prophet said, this is wisdom, pure wisdom. If you are from India, please listen. You don't need uh, any wisdom from India. The Prophet here is teaching you wisdom. When Satan hears the call of the prayer, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Shaitan, he turned his back and he break winds. <laughs> Let me explain to you with a drawing what's happening here. This is Mr. Satan. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me open a different page. Brother, this is Mr. Satan. And Mr. Satan, he was walking down the street. Let us make Mr. Satan with this color. This is Satan. He looked like a cat, by the way. So, 
So Satan now is walking down the street. La 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 la. Okay, this is Satan, brother. Walking down the street, and then suddenly, because the Muslims are very, 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 very quiet people, and they don't bother people with their prayer, they have big, huge speaker, brother. Huge speaker, brother. Huge, huge, brother. Huge. And the speaker saying, brother, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Shaitan, the second he hear this prayer, immediately he turn his ass to the prayer and he start farting violent fart. Very disturbing for the fart, 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 farting. Look, look, even the fart have like a cloud, became like a cloud. Why? Because he's shooting back at the prayer. He fought him back so he can stop the, the speaker from saying those words. Be, 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 be. And like the speaker going loud because they are using the American electricity now, the kuffar electricity. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And the fart go all over like here, the fart or trying to block it. You know, the shaitan doing his best. He's farting as much as he can. He is farting like one fart a second, 1,000 fart a second. And the Muslim guy in the mosque like, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Check out, 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 check out. And Shaitan, like his ass, if you look at his ass, by the way, Shaitan at this moment, his ass is red like a pistol after shooting 1,000 ammo. Because you can imagine how much hot it is here now. Brother, his anus is like so hot. Because they keep saying Allah Akbar like for 15, 20 minutes. And Shaitan, he will not stop farting for 20. And this is explain what it's called by a guy, his name Al Gore. See, Prophet Muhammad, he did not get anything for maybe. No maybe for Prophet Muhammad. This is explain what it's called a global warming. How the Prophet knew this? Hmm? Even global warming is mentioned by the Prophet Muhammad. And he mentioned that. And I'm going to explain to you. Prophet Muhammad, he mentioned that the global warming is happening. And the reason, the Muslim of number and the number of Muslims are increasing. And they pray for time a day. And the each time they pray, Satan he starts farting. And as you know, farting is a methanol. And that will include the green burning. Thank you very much. That's so... It's a lot. It's a lot of wisdom. I feel I want to cry. I feel I want to do things. I want to cry and I want to fart. I'm not sure which one to start with first. You help me, brother. Which one is better to follow first? Farting or a global warming laughing? Unbelievable. <clears throat> My friend, uh, there's a guy he's saying he refuted me. You know, you're a potato. If you refuted me, you call me. I have refuted you thousands of time, and you're still doing this. Do you don't have any shame? Are you fought you right now, Christian princes? Yeah, your prophet said you have half a brain. And you call yourself a Christian princess? Is refuted in Indonesia. So are the princes? Is this your name, Christian princes? <laughs> you see, I'm I'm giving them phobia to the point they are giving their names a name taken from my name. Do you see how much phobia it is? A lot of phobia, brother. They have phobia from Christian prince. They have a phobia from the cross. They have a phobia from the word the Christian. They have phobia. They are garlic is a phobia. Do you know that the prophet said that Shaitan, Shaitan, he came to him 
as an angel his name is Mr. White what the heck and he deliver him satanic verses yes brother Debate me face to face. Do you have big boobs? Why you want to debate me face to face? Do you have big boobs? The Prophet Muhammad said, debate only with those who have big boobs. Do you have big boobs? The Quran said, he promised me if I convert to Islam, he will give me big boobs. Which means, we finish the debate. If you convince me, I have to get a grab the big boobs right away. Are you prepared? Debate me face to face. Isn't it ass to ass to do it here? Like what we are doing here? Is your ass coming toward the, the computer? Isn't it this is face to face? No, okay, brother, we are doing ass to ass here. <laughs> Unbelievable, stupid people. I love it, I love it, I love it. So guys, my Skype is open and we have only one Abdul called us, only one. And actually, the, the one who made him call, it's a guy who is next to him. He was using his account. He called me and the Muslim he spoke. And he will bring me the... Uh, <clears throat> He will bring me his shake to debate me but my friend uh, as you see we support our uh, our approves and evidence with art and by the way according to prophet muhammad the one who drew a picture allah will bring him in judgment day and he will make him blow at the picture <laughs> and the purpose you want to show him that you cannot create it while you are drawing it if 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 blow in it so Allah, he draw a picture and he blow at it? Is that how Allah, he created things? He draw a picture? Hmm. Who is here first time in our live broadcast? If you are first time, don't forget to subscribe. If you are second time, don't forget to unsubscribe. For this is how we do it. This is how we do it. We are very, we are Arab, brother, and we spread Islam for all mankind, and we make them pray to Allah in our language. Bismillah al brother. Do you know what does that mean? Yeah, it means uh, Bismillah al Okay, what? Okay, what this verse mean, brother? This verse, this verse, huh? In Arabic, what this verse? You, you just say this verse in Arabic. What does that mean? Okay, uh, Bismillah al brother. This is a different verse. This is not Bismillah al Rahman. This is a different one. What what this verse mean? Bismillah al Which one? This verse uh, they don't know. God he sent a book to the Indian which is not in their language, and it is haram by the way to translate. Do you know that? Quran cannot be translated. Haram. All of this is haram. This is not Islamic really. So how an Indian person, he will understand the religion of his God, even though the Quran say that Allah never send the messenger unless he is from the people speaking the language of his own people. Chapter 14, verse number 4. So, based on this verse, in order for Muhammad to be a messenger for India, he have to be Indian. And as long in India there's more than 400 languages, that means Muhammad he can be a messenger only for one of those languages, not all India too. Do you see how easy we can get Muhammad busted? How Muhammad can be a prophet to India based on this verse? Actually, this verse makes sense. Read, read carefully. We send not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people. In order what? In order to make things clear to them. So the Quran confirmed that things will not be clear to you unless it is a language which is your language. Guys, does it say that? Does it say that I'm making things up? It's a clear verse. What the Muslim, they will say this is weak Quran. So we never send we send not a messenger except with what speaking the tongue of the people from the people and giving a message from the language of the people 
So Muhammad cannot be a messenger even for all the Arab because the Arab have many dialects. That's why Muhammad, he says that Allah, he gave him the Quran in seven letters. And imagine guys, Muhammad in the hadith says that he claimed that he, he, he have an argument with his God, Allah. He keep asking for more Quran, saying that his people, they are not capable of understanding the Quran if it is in one dialect or language of Arabic. So how you as a Muslim from Indonesia will understand the Quran in a language is not even yours? Read carefully. My people are not capable. Please send me more Quran. Do you see it? Who said that? Muhammad. Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran to your people in one dialect. Upon this, he said, I ask Allah a burden and forgiveness. My people are so stupid and they are not capable of doing it. So Allah keeps sending the Quran and Muhammad saying, my people not, not capable of doing it, not capable of doing it, not capable of doing it, not capable of doing it. Okay. Conclusion. You are not capable of doing it. I mean, how, how many times I have to say it? Muhammad, he said many times. Why I need to say that to you 25 times a day? Not capable of doing it. You are khatim Quran, you are khatim your, your bum, my friend. This guy is saying that he memorized the Quran. My just to show you how stupid what you just said. You memorize the Quran, but you don't understand it. I don't memorize the Quran, all of it, no. And I will not, because I'm not a fool to waste my memory for that. But I understand the Quran in full. And this is the challenge. Do you dare to call me Mr. Khatim? You are Khatim, right? You are, you are, you are a Khatim like your prophet. He have a seal in his bum. Call me and everybody will laugh at you who memorize the Quran, but you cannot explain a verse. And this is additional proof of stupidity in this religion. They memorize, but they, not, they don't understand the language. They don't read the language and they memorize. Anyone can memorize if I, if I force myself. Children, they memorize a song. They memorize commercial. You can memorize anything if you can repeat it like a donkey. But if I ask you a question about a verse, you do not know. Be a man or be a woman, maybe. And call me Mr. Khatim and let everybody laugh. A recording machine. Another sign of stupidity. They are not Arab. They don't speak Arabic and they memorize a book by singing it. Not You see, the reason you memorize it because they made it for you easy to memorize by singing it. Otherwise, you cannot memorize it. Even that, is, it's, it's not going to happen. But because it's made like singing. Yeah. And not only that, the Muslim, they read the Quran in letters which is equal to Arabic to memorize, which means they don't know really how to read Arabic, but like I can write you, okay, I, I will show you what, what, what I mean. <clears throat> I can say right now, <clears throat> let's say I am not an Arab, and I want to claim that I am speaking Arabic, I'm reading the Quran. So I will say, I have a book in the front of me, it says, Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. Okay, so the one who hear me, you will think that I speak Arabic. But the fact I'm reading in, in, in English letters, this is what many of them did do. My people are not capable. So you cannot understand the Quran if you are an Arab in one language. Who said that? Muhammad. So all those liars, they say the book of Uthman is enough. They are lying because Muhammad saying, no, it's not true. And the proof in front of you. Do we have any Muslim before we log off Skype? Let us see. I think somebody is texting me. Yeah, it's just somebody trying. Okay. 
La 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 ho Crazy Muhammad I mean for sure Muhammad is a prophet If Muhammad is not a prophet, who is a prophet? You, 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 let us be honest here If Muhammad, look a, a prophet teaching his God that you cannot send me one book, you need to send me more Allah, please my people are not capable, Allah don't know Allah do not know that Arab are not smart so Allah I said, okay, okay, Jibreel. So Muhammad told you that uh, his people are not capable. Are you sure he said that to you? Yes, Allah, he said that to me. Okay, I will send you Quran, two Quran. Give him two Quran. Uh -huh. And Jibreel go back and says, okay, two Quran. Muhammad said, no, 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 uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. no, it, it doesn't work. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Huh? And then Zabriel go back to Allah and he said to him, I told him to Quran, he says his people are not capable. Allah said, okay, give him three Quran. Zabriel, he go back to, uh, to Muhammad, he said, okay, three Quran. Muhammad said, no, no, it doesn't work. No, no, no way. <laughs> Impossible. Zabriel, Zabriel, go back to Allah and Allah, he sees Zabriel, he said to him, Zabriel, what are you doing here? Uh, I went to Prophet Muhammad, and he said to me, mm, no, it doesn't work, mm, no, it, it doesn't work with two or three Quran, no. Allah think about it, and he said, okay, so three Quran, no, it doesn't work, no, he said the Prophet, so I have to increase the number, I will make it for Quran. So Allah, he gave Zabriel for Quran. And then the Bril, he go to Muhammad, he gave him four Quran. He said, okay, Allah agreed to give you four Quran. Muhammad, he said to him, no, 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 <laughs> no, <laughs> over my dead body, no way, no. The Bril, he went back to Allah and he said to Allah, when well, you're a prophet, he said, no, 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 over my dead body, it doesn't work. Allah, he thought about it, he said, okay, prophet is right. Those Arabs are very silly and stupid. So I'm going to make it five Quran. Give him five Quran. Zabriel, he went to Prophet Muhammad and he gave him five Quran. The Prophet, as usual, said, no, 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 it doesn't work over my dead body and I will eat fly if this can happen. Zabriel, he went back to Allah and he told the Prophet, he told Allah, he said, okay, okay. So the Prophet said, no, 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 no. I will eat a fly if this can happen. Okay, I will give him since Quran. And then the Zabriel, he went back to Muhammad and he told him, Allah, he agreed to give you six Quran. What do you say now? Ha -ha. Muhammad, he said, no, 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 it's impossible. I will not accept that over my dead body and I will eat poo, -poo if this can work. Zibreel, he go back to Allah and he said to Allah, eh, Prophet, he said to you, no, 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 come tomorrow, no, 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 my throat is getting tired from saying no, no, and, and, and no. And the prophet, he don't agree with you. And he will eat poo-poo if this is work. Allah, he thought about it. He said, okay, go back to Muhammad, who the one who said, no, 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 it doesn't work, it doesn't work. My people are not capable and give him seven Quran. And then Zabriel, he went back to Prophet Muhammad and he gave him seven Quran. And then the Prophet, he did not say, no, 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 no more. He said, thank you, Allah. Thank you. Finally, you get my point, you idiot. I mean, do we have to go back one for one seven time? Can't Allah read the mind of the Prophet? Can't Allah knew the needs of the Muslims that they cannot do it with Quran? But because Allah, he do not know the unseen brother. No, 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 story is over. Have you ever heard of a stupid story more than this? Hello. Now, by the way, if you are going to download my videos, you can cut this part, making a part by itself because it's full of wisdom and will show really a Muslim how stupid Islam is. Seriously, if you are going to download the video, cut this part and post it as a video by itself 
because it's expressing the stupidity. Because sometimes people are so slow, so slow to the point it's really disgusting. They cannot see how stupid this story is. I mean, isn't it obvious this is stupid? God and a prophet, and they are the prophet is fixing God order. God, he say, why Allah did not give Musa seven Quran, uh, Torah? Musa, I will give you one Torah in your uh, language. Musa should say, no, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. But Musa did not say that because the Jews are smart. Hello. <laughs> Moses have no excuse to say that. The Jews are so smart people, brother. Muhammad, he can do that. We are Arab. Unbelievable. Don't forget to subscribe so you can receive seven Quran as soon as possible. Delivery came to me from Zibril. Zibril is my favorite pizza delivery. Anything you know, the breed can solve the problem for you. Corona, he stopped Corona. Any problem you have in your life, the breed is there. Hmm. Uh, the angel who did the beat uh, Moses, uh, sorry, Moses beat him, uh, Malakul Maut. <coughs> Muslim, they call him Azrael. <coughs> All those names are stolen from the Jews anyway. But the story is very convincing, by the way, about that uh, <clears throat> the angel came and uh, let us see the hadith or not. angel of death <laughs> Moses he just came from China and he was taking course from Bruce Lee himself you sent to me the angel he went to Moses and he told him I will take your soul now Moses he when he come to him he boxed him <laughs> and his eye was knocked out which is very normal Actually, if I show you how many angels I knock their eyes, you will not believe it. I have black belt, blue belt, blueberry, uh, uh, strawberry. I mean, I have all those things, okay? So the angel came to me and like... The angel, he went back to Allah and his eye is out like boing. Let me draw for you the situation, brother, because most of you are very naive and you don't understand without drawing. And you love my art, okay? So this is the angel. This is the angel, okay? This is the angel. I need to buy, to, to buy a tablet so I can draw better. I'm using the mouse here. This is the angel. He has wings, 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 a lot of wings. Wings, 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 wings. And then Zabriel, he hit him in his eye. His eye became here like boing. Like a rasur, you know, boing, like boing, boing, boing. And then Zabriel, he went back to Allah and he told him, well, you send me to your slave who don't want to die. And Allah said to him, so what happened to your eye, you idiot? Oh, he didn't beat me in my eye. <laughs> and Allah, he restored his eye, brother, in its place. And this is one of the miracles of Allah. And this is a true story, by the way, proven to be true. There's a scientist, he's from Japan, his name is Yama Aidu Lai Yama, Suzuki Yama. He proved it. So he went back to him and he said, you send me to a servant who don't want to die. Allah restored his eye in the proper place. And look here, brother, the prophet is very much into details. He said the proper place, because what if he restored it in his anus? That will make him a unicorn anus eye. Allah did not only restore the eye, he restored it in the proper place, which like over his eyebrows. I mean, look at the story, man. Look at this story. And yet you are not converting to Islam. What's wrong with you? Are you stupid or what? Are you? 
are you? All right. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. And don't forget to hit the like button. We have only 571. I mean, if I drive in the highway, they will give me more fingers than this. What's wrong with you people? Like, what's wrong with you? First time I drove in the highway in America, everybody is putting his hand up for me. I thought they are saying hi. I said, wow, everybody know me here, man. I just came to town. <laughs> Unbelievable. But they were giving a finger because I was driving so slow. I remember me. 571 uh, finger. Like, hello. What, are you afraid of uh, Corona now? You can't use your finger no more. It's a virtual thing. This is virtual. Don't worry, Corona will not come to you and they are protected by the Prophet. Crazy people. Hmm. All right, guys. Let us be honest here. Are you enjoying your time with me? Imagine if we have a TV station. Millions of people would die literally from laughing at the stupidity. For sure, by the help of a Christian prince. And the reason, by the way, I try my best to make it presented the way I do because human beings need a reason to remember. And the best reason is comedy, laugh, make you happy, and remember how silly it is. Remember and see and understand. So, it's not the purpose really the comedy but the comedy is to complete the mission so you can see it make me spend more effort from my voice from my body from my mind to make you laugh but i try my best to make you understand that this is a garbage cult literally i'm not here my friend to be your comedian i'm here to be a person who save your family from cult and lies you don't want your son or your child come back home and say to you i became a muslim so what we do here is extremely important it can change life and destroy life so i appreciate all of you and i hope what we do is not a waste of time please don't forget to download the videos share them we can cut them pieces don't worry, be happy. The Prophet, he do not know what you are doing because obviously Allah, he cannot see the unseen. And right now you are in the virtual world. So cut the videos, make them short if you want. Like the story about Musa, the story about uh, uh, the seven verses, seven letters or seven Quran. I mean, do whatever you want. Just help us to spread the news. And don't forget to subscribe to my other account, Quality of Life, as you see in the screen. And there we speak about different topic if you like to join us. You can search Quality of Life M27 and join there. And you can subscribe to my channel or page in uh, Patreon. And by the way, you do not need to have a donation there. You know, people who can do donation, we appreciate them. But still, you can receive always the update and the videos from that page where I post my coming broadcast. So you will be always up to date. So I want to say thank you all for uh, for being here and i pray to the lord that the lord will open our eyes and he will make us vigilant intelligent not to be fool for foolishness is not an excuse you cannot say to the lord one day i was a fool too late today we are doing our best to help you tomorrow nobody to help you you will stand alone and you will be asked for what you did. You made a decision willingly and you will, be, you, you will be taken accountable for what you decided. So I pray to the Lord, to the Messiah to save us. I pray for the safety and security for all mankind, including Muslims. We pray for them that they will not be affected by Corona. I pray to the people in Asia, the people in India, the people in Indonesia. We pray for Christian, Muslims, Hindus, atheists, everybody to be safe and secure for the Lord, the Messiah Christ. He is loving, he is giving. He told us, love your enemy, pray for them, forgive them, bless them, and we bless you, my friend. We pray that the Lord 
will bless your heart keep you safe you and your family even if you hate the messiah for the messiah is nothing but love and he loves you and it is you either you accept him or reject him he said knock at my door and i will open for you i am the alpha i am the omega i am the resurrection the resurrection is calling you let us resurrect with him let us live with him the lord of the wisdom the lord the lord of love the lord of amazing promises which is true that is my lord Love your enemy, which is freeing you from all the hate and anger, which is giving you freedom to be like a flying bird. You have no hate. No matter what happened, you are free because hate is enslaving us if we became subdued to it. With the Christ, we are free, and by his name, we are victorious, and by his power, we are healed and no death can overcome us and no sickness can keep us away from him we are believers and we believe from our heart thank you very much for being here christ is lord islam is false and we see you soon again take care